Hello everyone, Eddie here. Minecraft Vanilla 1.8 full release. We we got out of the pre-releases. You'd have to excuse my voice if it sounds a bit funny today, but I've got this kind of ear infection at the moment, which is not a bit wrong with me, buddy. And it locked my jaw up for the last couple of days, so I couldn't speak properly without major pain. So I've done a couple of little bits. Tried not to do too much. Got the cactus farm running, that was one thing. Over that away. Quite away is a desert. So I found a desert on my walkabouts. Grab the cactus. If I pop in here you can see what I've done. All I've done is put glass minimal places I need them, so literally between them two and between them two and round the edges of these ones so it kind of forces the cactus into the bottom 100% flow under here because there's a gap underneath all flows in she said so and so pumpkins magically have appeared and I'll show you why in a sec I put them in there they're not automated in there, but they are semi-automated. Imagine you got your pumpkins growing. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Water source underneath here. This is green clay to make it look nice and to harden dirt around it just to give it a pattern. Well, you could come along, bop, 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 and harvest them, couldn't you? Or you could stand on this pressure plate and have my harvest for you. Ooh. And all that is, uh, I'm trying to think of an easy way in there, probably straight down here. Yeah, I've got to be careful because I had to take that bedstone out, put a block there, put the pumpkin on it, which is a jack o' lantern pumpkin, take the block out, then put the redstone back. All you have is a row of sticky pistons under your dirt, repeat this pointing in, feed of redstone going right round, same the other side. Pressure plate is above that one. So when you're treading the pressure plate, activates this, fires the repeaters, fires the pistons, lifts it up. Nice and simple. And I like my builds simple. You can make it a lot more complicated with water flows and towers of dropping y thingy, but at the end of the day, you pop that, you're gonna walk through here, grab your pumpkins and I'm just sticking them in there for the sake of sticking them somewhere for the moment so that is automation there trees are still the trees haven't really done much on them in the wonders to find the desert did come across a little village and it had carrots and potatoes so I've been growing these up to fill up the water streams in there hopefully Either this episode or next, I'll be able to show you this working properly. Let it all grow up a bit first and we'll see where it goes. Ooh, look, time is coming. Did a teeny bit of breeding my cows. Not much, like I bred them once. <laughs> Same with the sheep. I managed to breed. Oh no, where's my baby sheep gone? I did breed the sheep. Oh, I feel gutted now. Quickly breed them again before the sun goes down. Boop. Because I have, have plans, I only breed two of these cows because the third one will just get jealous. Is she? Can we breed it? You're just being difficult now, aren't you? You're missing your other little grey one. There we go, and I had a little grey one like that. And it wandered off. There's a grey sheep in the world somewhere. Sorry about that. Oh, it died. Um, what else has been going on? Done a bit of mining. Tried to 
mainly looking for diamonds because I had my experience level was high so I wanted to get enchantment so I managed to pick up a few diamonds got loads of iron actually it's a good way of getting experience and let's put two of them back and we'll fire that one in that one and that one in that one because I'm on 29 XP ideal world I want to be over 30 if you can get to 33 or 34 you can start doing clever things because every three levels over 30 you are you can do two level 30 enchants with a bit of lapis because up in here which is my do it room as it were strange ceiling but I haven't really finished it yet but I do like my stairs I think my stairs are kind of wacky I was going for a pattern on this floor which worked out quite well apart from it ruining the ceiling down here and I've got to work out a way of doing it and still keeping it nice I might just run another row, another row of slabs on there just to bring it to a level got me enchanted table and me anvil and me bookcases which I raided from villages I come back with about a hundred books crafting table my automatic smeltery system which you can see where the ground level was before I built the castle which has just cooked me a load of stone for the moment because I was building this and I've got andesite, I've got polished andesite, andesite stone, stone, cobblestone well it's andesite and cobblestone it's trying to keep something simple, let me jump off the side I was trying to keep a simple design where you had three pillars of stone, so I made a circle layout and I cut back the circle layout and just put pillars up on the front the side I tried it out on first was this side and that outer edge there would be the circles but then I cut back into here to bring it a bit squarer and I added all sorts of steps and patterns in the andesite these work well together but they're a little too clean for most builds the stones look good, they work with them they're not too far a colour mismatch stone would work with them as well but cobblestone is too dark for them I think you put cobblestone on them together and it's it kind of stands too boldly whereas these work quite well on the insides it's tricky, I'm not a big fan of these new blocks I will hold my hand out, they don't do nothing apart from that and that that's all you got, no stairs, no slabs no nothing else that and that the white ones are the same, you got normal and polished granite's the same, brown and polished Um, they could have been so much better if they'd have put the steps and the stairs and the stairs and the steps the slabs and the stairs would have made so much difference but alas, they missed a the chance. But no, I'm trying to use them. I think to myself, well, they're in the pack. Let's try them out, see what I can get going with them. And they look okay. Don't get me wrong, they look okay. But you are so limited in what you can do with them. It is just literally a square building block. You can do so much more with wood and stone bricks and stone slabs and stuff it's surprising whereas this is just green glass this is the diorite unpolished just standard diorite which does its job let me go look pop step back pop it up again hard because I forgot how to walk over it more pumpkins we'll do the same with melons when I find the melons Um. Yeah, so that's about it. Next time, I'll gather up a few more sticky pistons, a few more slimes, so I can make a decent raid farm. I don't need too many raids because I found all them books. But I want to automate it, so I've got a set of automated farms here that 
they're just easier to work with. I haven't got to do too much on them. Then I'm going to have my... Probably going to put a nether portal in this tower. Because it's going to go up another level or two yet. So I'll probably have a nether portal in here somewhere. And an enchanting room with ingredients and stuff all set in there. This will be almost like a downstairs living area. I suppose for the moment. Because I still haven't got a house house. I mean, I've got my log cabin. My wood cupboard cutter's cabin is currently stores. You can't move it here for the storage. And that's going to get cut down just to have like the saplings and the logs in there. And the other storage will come out. I was thinking of making like a container ship out of here somewhere for stores. But I'm not really sure if I'm going to go that road now. I might make something else on the water because you don't have to go far to get the attention of these guardians I came over literally to do some fishing over here I thought oh come stand here so I'll do a bit of fishing keep everybody happy and that is within range of the guardians I wonder if they're going to come today or not. Maybe, maybe not. No. It plays over as well when you're trying to boat around this area. Because you're going boat, you're boating across, and I got ghosted the other day. Oh, you just get this big guardian face come down across the top of your screen. See, so doing hand movements you can't see. So you get his big guardian face, drop down over your screen. Gives you mind and fatigue and all that lot. Made me jump out of my skin, I tell her. Was not expecting it. All I was doing was boating nearby. What else is going on? We've still got this little area here to investigate. With the big drop, the cow and cave want to get down into there need to make a good mob spawner as well which he's tempting to do over the water but I want to be far enough away from that so it doesn't attack me every time I go near it I might take it aerial I might go up we might have to do an aerial one up by the world limit just to get the better spawns but if I base it over there and take it to the world limit there's a fair chance there's not going to be any caves there to take away from the mob spawns we'll see thinking about it I could do it over there find the centre of that and go up yeah maybe Maybe we shall see. It's all plans that haven't come to pass yet. Um, what was today's plan? Oh yeah, tried it. Thirty, thirty levels. To show you this enchantment system, cause it is really good. Oh, that's looking good. Oh, that got close. They can go in there. They can go in there. Let's take that out. Stay near with a little more coal. Then we need to grab ourselves some lapis. I'm gonna grab a ton of lapis because, because you can. Give that a few more seconds. The other way of getting experience is going mining, picking up your coal and your redstone. Or going to never gather in your quartz, that is a really good way of doing it. But I haven't set the never portal up yet. I'm saving that one for a little while. Classic way of doing it is mob farming. Just sitting there waiting for mobs, beating them up, or setting up a big mob farm, having them drop so they're easy hits and easy kills. I say that'll set up soon. And I missed. 
this was part of an idea I was going to have. Whoop. Whoop. Is I was going to have like a beach bit with the pylons going out. But have the pylons so you can jump onto them and at least get across it out a bit. Like a breakwater. But it never never come to fruition yet. It may do. It may well do. Oh, I have plans for it. Let's go sleep for a sec. Alright, actually. Let's go see if we can get in enough experience. Oh. Yeah, sleep. Let that cook up a bit more and we'll get enough. We'll go and see what we can get on enchantments. What is it I'm looking at in chat? I've got sharpness 2 on there. Silk touch and efficiency 4 on that one. That was really nice. Bow. I was hoping to get a good bow. Protection. I'm breaking a feather falling on that one. Protection 2 on that one. Protection. Oh, projectile protection, sorry. 2 on that one. And aqua affinity on my helmet. So I can add to these. Or I can wait and get diamond ones and make them better. But to repair and to add books with enchantment onto the armour and tools now is so cheap it is ridiculously cheap you get 30 levels and you can sit there and you can enchant one 30 level two or three of the level two enchants then maybe four or five of the level one enchants afterwards so you can enchant everything you've got once you just break the 30 level mark which is really, really nice. You can constantly up update your enchant. So the new system is probably too cheap, but really works well. Right, let's go check this on so I can at least show you rather than just talk about it. Talking about it is rubbish. Oh, oh, too close. <laughs> I want to kill something now. Here, yeah, bunny, bunny. Got any nearby squids? No mm. squid in my pool. There were squids over there. Well, there's a chicken. Oh, he's giving me an egg. Oh, I feel terrible about doing this now, chicken. Mm. I think it's not enough. Still not enough. Whoa, whoa! Hello. That wasn't planned. Uh, that's my biggest block. Torches. Have I got torches? No, I've got dandelions. Good at dandelions. Might need to get out of here. Uh, excuse me, can I have your XP? Oh, don't take it down here. Whoa, fudge. That one may get covered over. Because that is a little dangerous. <laughs> Without my feather falling, I'd have been done for there. That is for certain. Jeez. Dark oak planks, good. Oops, missed. Woo, nearly went in that one. Yeah, I've got to be a bit careful because of block updates with the sand. Uh, stone, stone will do. I'll remember that stair and come and fix it another day. Right, 29 and nearly dead. That was good going. Chicken. Oh, that is ridiculously close now. Squid, you lucked out. Because I'm not killing the horse. Right, let's go deal with this bow.
I do like this course this course dirt as well. It sounds really good when you're running on it. It makes you cracking paths, especially if you mix it with the uh, spruce half slabs. Now, what I do put me lapis in there. Now the first one we'll look at is the boat, which at thirty will give us flame one. Power two and power one. So if I spend three levels of my thirty I can get a flame one plus. It might give other stuff. So let's risk it. Flame one power four. That is awesome. Now if I chuck a book in there, we've got a further folding four which we can't afford anymore because we've gone down to twenty seven. Further folding three is for seventeen and bane of arthropods. So book is no good. We could put an iron axe in there, get efficiency two or efficiency two. Well, I know which one I'm choosing, the cheap one. Put an iron axe in there, get unbreaking two or efficiency one. Let's risk the unbreaking two, and it's got a fortune on it. Bonus. Now let's have a look and see what the book gives us. Feather folding four again, thorns one or smite one. Not interested in them. Uh, how much have we got? Twenty four. Let's quickly build a fishing rod and see what we get on a level two fishing rod. Uh, string is in this one. I don't need four, but got a little carried away. I used all my wood up, filling up holes, didn't I? It's a dark oak, that'll do. It'll give us enough for one. Oh, if I get it in the right place. But I'm very tempted to make another one. If I could, oh, my dragon today is terrible. I blame the ear. It's the only thing for it. Blame the ear. It's all that's fault. Now there's method in my madness. See, because what I'm going to do is try and get a bit cleverer. We've got 24 levels. 11, 11 is unbreaking. Let's try that. So it's just unbreaking. Now we put that on there. Unbreaking two. Oh, that's a shame. That didn't work out the plan. Let's try another pick. Uh, lapis. Efficiency 2 and it is just an efficiency 2. Now we've got unbreaking 2, fortune 1 and efficiency 2. Pick that up, we need them. Come over to here. Let's see how much it costs to combine. Only 4 levels. Bargain. And that is how I'm getting super tools. It is the most, I wouldn't say cheaty system ever but it's what it should have been in the first place it really is what it should have been when they worked it out let's make a uh, what have I got I've had a falling two yeah let's make a new pair of boots see if I can get another feather falling two on there because feathered falling two can be found quite cheaply. Feather falling one is not going to work, so we'll stick that there. Let's try the other fishing rod. Still on breaking two. Well, let's risk it. Just on breaking two. Sometimes you get the other um, the other enchants on it as well as a bonus. We'll be looking at 14, protection 2, unbreaking. Let's go protection 2. And it was just protection 2. So, aqua affinity. 
and protection 2, jump 4, so I'll need a extra protection 2 on my helmet. Projectile protection. Is it worth looking at? I've got uh, 8 levels. Might be able to get a chest at level 2 from 8 levels. No, it's going to want 13. Well, let's see what level 1 gives us. Projectile protection 2. So it'll give us projectile protection 3. I'm taking it. I'm going to combine the 2 again. For 6 levels. Projectile protection 3. That is just like all that from 30 levels I've got one level left it's cost me a few iron I've got two unbreaking fishing rods uh, flame one power four bow I've got efficiency on my fortune pick I've got the fortune pick boots never got anything for and I've boosted up my armors cheap as chips I really like this insurance system so much so, I'm going to use it all the time. Can't wait to start getting diamond armour because then I'm really going to get selective with what enchants I put on my armours and how I combine them. And they're cheap to repair as well, so once you get your super armour, you'll always have your super armour. So I am going to call it there today. Wish everyone a brilliant day. And I shall see you next time. Bye.